<laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Um, in today's Vlogmas, we are going to do our Christmas pictures and we're also going to give you some tips so you can create nice Christmas pictures this year. Right? Right. Okay, what's number one? Uh, I don't have my notes. Wait, what's it? <laughs> Paul did notes. He said he created my script, script, my script because uh, he wants to be organized and not to have a video that's all over the place. So he did some notes, and he's gonna bring them now. Number one. Number one, placing the Christmas tree wisely. Yes. So make sure <laughs> you choose the place right. Make sure you like the background that you have. Okay. Uh, Make sure you have good lighting where it is. You don't want to put it in a dark corner where you don't have any light. So we put ours by the stairs because here we have a window. And I just like the way it looked here. And if you saw my previous pictures, you can't really see much of the background when the picture is taken because it's from a lower angle. So the first thing you want to make sure of is to place your Christmas tree in a nice place yeah, nice <laughs> without enough. any weird stuff in the background or the entire house seeing in the background because you won't be able to color code everything and make everything look pretty right. at least we didn't make but pro probably as our new house we will be able to and another thing make sure you have room to sit in front of the tree and make sure someone has room enough to take the picture because like yeah. if it's in a tight space maybe you won't have enough room to capture your whole body maybe it'll just get neck up who knows yeah so make sure you got enough space this is how much space we have we don't have much light in this house and we're going to change that pretty soon but right. we are just trying to do the best we can with the space we have yep Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> number two the props the decor the everything everything pretty uh this is my favorite part so uh we are going to start now because it's just very basic it's nothing placed in front of the christmas tree because this little bub likes to pee on stuff that are out of the place so nothing much there but we are going to use pillows blankets stuff that create layering we got this nice lantern Yes. You got like four candles in it. The they're, candles. they're kind of melted, but they look nice in pictures. That's an extra light. A little stool like this. Yeah. Nice. So Very candles, bright. lights, as many as you have, but make sure they're the same color. Don't put like, we, we're not a fan of colored lights. So as little color as you have, the prettier will be. So, or if you want to make everything one color, make sure it's the same color and you're in your theme. So don't just throw random colors in your pictures because it won't look aesthetically pleasing. So we went for white, as you know, and as you can see, and we also dressed in white cream nudes because that will look really good with the background and with our decor. So you're prepping yes. the props. Just as many layers as possible, it will look good. Even if you have blankets or scarves or pillows, something to fill the bottom of the trees. Also gifts. Gifts, of which we don't have here. <laughs> we are going to bring some. We'll bring some. Um, you can get these little guys. Yeah, those are really cute too. And one thing that we didn't manage to do this year is to find in time enough uh, bottom covers for the Christmas tree. Yeah, these ones. So you can also use blankets, it's fine, you won't be able to see them. But it's mm -hmm. important to cover it because it will look kind of ugly. <laughs> Hi, pretty boy. Hi. There we go. So Penny has laid out the props. We have a chair here as well because Penny has her baby belly. So it might be more comfortable for her to sit on a chair. You can see a little tag. A little light tag. I don't know if we probably will need to bring the blankets a little bit forward. Yeah. 
we have a few candles here some gifts just a little guy extra lights always a good idea and some more gifts pillows blankets make it all look cute together i have one more tip <laughs> that i just discovered maybe you need to prep everything before you get dressed because it's so uncomfortable for me right now and my legs are hurting <laughs> but oh yeah we can use that little guy and that's a great segue to our next tip Which is? Uh, match your outfits yes. so so know what you're going to wear and if it's just you that's fine but if you're gonna have someone else in the picture like your family. husband or wife or family or friends whoever try to coordinate your outfits because you don't want someone having a purple sweater someone having a green one a yellow one kind of keep it in the same tones uh, make sure the style matches you don't want someone being like really elegant and someone in their pjs so yeah. like one year we did a uh, uh, a few pictures in our PJs, yeah, which was really nice. Uh, you can do the PJ ones and the informal ones, even when you open the presents on fifth, 25th, twenty <laughs> fifth, twenty fourth or twenty fifth, whenever you do. Yeah. It. that's a debate amongst us because yeah. Xenia likes to open them Christmas Eve. I like to open Christmas Day, but anyway, that's another discussion. You can but, do that informal one then and there, but if you yeah. want something more. But just make sure the outfits kind of match, the colors match, because you just don't want all the colors of the rainbow in there. So we like to go for something like nudes, uh, whites, beige. And it's the same like our Christmas tree. So if your Christmas tree is all blue, don't wear red. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, maybe <laughs> some baby blue, or some just white. white. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. And this goes for any event, like this is what we do for our wedding as well. We try to coordinate everyone so in the pictures everything looked put together and belonging from there, not one person wearing red, the other one blue, purple, yellow. Yeah, so we just recommended people to wear kind of neutral colors because you don't want everyone like being super white and cream. And then Aunt Jemima has their her red dress. <laughs> but our our pictures turn out really nice and it yeah. looks like everyone's from the same party kind of. Yeah, exactly. So keep that in mind. Next step, number four. So number four, know who's going to take the picture. Uh, if you have someone to help you, that's great. If you don't, then make sure you have a tripod. Or something that's at the height you want in order to take the nice pictures. So you can improvise with chairs nightstands, tables, anything you want. Right, just somewhere you can place your phone and put it on self-timer so it can take the picture. Yeah. So we're gonna set up our tripod now. Which is broken and I need to Ooh. take it right now. Light. We use this one really often because it's a ring light and you can also attach your camera right here, your phone or whatever you want. We are putting the light from the same source of natural light that we have. So this light obviously is not enough, especially during the winter. It's very gloomy outside, very cloudy. It's not enough to take nice pictures. Uh, so we are going to put this light coming from the same way as the natural light. So there we have it, and that light. Sorry for brownies noise. Right. Can you see the difference already? It's not set up right, but look how powerful it is and what kind of a difference it makes. It's really nice. So, but if you don't have one, we didn't have a light previous years, um, what you need to do is um, just look for the sunniest day in December and organize your pictures to be taken then, or just use more lights like lamps, the lights from the ceiling, anything you have can help you create a nice moody photo. Hi, Arlo. Hey, buddy. He matches our outfits. Yeah, maybe he wants to stay in the picture too. Anyway, uh, for our ring light, we have this little gadget. You can attach your phone. So then you get that. And then we also have this tripod 
If we want to use the camera, we can use the camera. Either way, good to have your tools ready. And now you can just set it, take a few pictures, try it out, see what the angles are looking like. And that's it, basically. Yeah. So we got the other phone set up over there and we're over here and right now it's set on filming but like we can take a few shots just to see if we're uh, in the center of the picture what it's looking like if we need to we move can it also around. film like instead of just running uh to the phone and backwards to press the self timer thing you can just film and sit in different positions while you take a short video and then look at it and you'll see how it looks like that's not a bad idea the only thing is when it's on video mode it crops a lot yeah so and when then when it's on photo it's a lot wider but you can also crop but, it right. cropping is not an enemy yeah you can always eat and last tip is don't leave it till christmas day we learned that the hard way right you don't want to be running around christmas eve trying to set up your picture setup and everything and just be stressed that you didn't get the right pictures and everything and i got so frustrated because um i saw everyone posting on instagram the nice pictures and mine didn't look like I imagined. So first you need to see and know exactly what you want. Maybe do a Pinterest board or save some pictures uh, on your phone and then try to get inspiration from that so you know exactly what you want. Right, so just plan a day ahead when you have time and whoever else is in the picture has time and uh, make sure it's not Christmas Eve or Christmas Day because you just want to enjoy those days with your friends and family and not stress about it. So you might need to need time to edit the picture afterwards. You might need time to get the setup ready and you just don't want to do that on Christmas Eve or Christmas and also, Day. If it doesn't if if it's not what you wanted, you can also do it again. Right. So just have like maybe a week ahead, who knows, just a few days ahead, but make sure you have time to do it and you're not stressed. Hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. We are going to put our Christmas pictures here at the end of the video. Um, maybe you, it can inspire you and don't forget to like this video if you like our tips and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. See ya. Bye.